Ajmi Bubakar is one of the unsung heroes of the Sousse attack. As the gunmen strolled down the beach, shooting tourists, many fled to his shop for refuge. He took in maybe 50 of them, probably saving their lives. Now he's struggling to save his business. We had incidents before, but not this big. The Sousse attack still has an effect until today. The number of visitors has dropped dramatically. The Sousse massacre was the second such atrocity in Tunisia claimed by ISIL. Its gunmen earlier cut down tourists at the Bardo Museum in Tunis. The tourism industry has paid a heavy price. Sunny beaches were suddenly deserted and hotels closed right in the middle of the summer. Following the attacks, Tunisia's visitors dropped by one million. This had a direct impact on the country's economy and revenues and has left the hundreds of thousands of families living from the tourism sector without income. Hotel operators such as Leila Bengesim are trying to lure visitors back. They've set up a rebranding initiative called City Change Makers. The artisans had a hard time um, with uh, a lot less tourism, uh, tourists visiting them this summer. Um, which, is, which is why um, such events are very important, because it's, 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 it's uh, bringing um, civil, private and public uh, institutions together. Um, how to um, rethink of um, our exports, how to rethink of branding the Medina to attract um, um, tourists. But it may take years for the tourism industry here to recover. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis.